my name is Jean McClouse. Welcome to my studio. I wanted to spend a few minutes uh, talking about a new technique I've been using in a series of drawings that I call Night Sounds. Uh, these are two examples of the series. These are actually prints of the drawings that are now up at Frank Gallery. Uh, the series is named Night Sounds because uh, these drawings were intended to celebrate those sounds we hear at summer, in the summer at dusk in particular, cicadas and tree frogs and owls, for example. So I wanted to create an atmosphere of that time of day. Uh, so I'm using blues and grays and browns here in these two drawings. And also uh, represent insects that make those particular sounds in the drawing in the background and then feature uh, an owl, for example, here. Uh, in the drawing. So we have the background sounds from the crickets and the cicadas and then a featured uh, bird. And in this case, possums, uh, which are nocturnal and I happen to be very fond of possums. So uh, the way I did this was that I cut out stamps. These are three sizes of cicadas that I cut out from a uh, material called Easy Carve. And crickets, also three sizes of crickets. So I could use them to uh, create a, a, a sense of distance, foreground and background. This is a new drawing using the same technique. And you can see the cicadas I start with in this spiral pattern are small, and they get larger as they move out. So it's, a, it's a, an attempt to show uh, distance or depth of field in the drawing. So uh, the way I created this background is I put uh, pastel dust over the entire surface of the drawing. And you can see that here with, in this drawing, the beginning of this drawing. And then I printed the cicadas and uh, the crickets. And then I put pastel dust over that again. So in a way, it was flocking, uh, like flocked wallpaper the stamped images. So um, a couple of samples here. These are the experiments that I came up with while I was trying to figure out if this would work for a finished drawing. So this is probably the one of the first drawings I did in using this technique. So you can see this sort of spiral shape of the cicadas, a row of cicadas and a row of crickets and cicadas and crickets. And I dusted over the freshly printed uh, stamps. The, the ink has to be wet to sort of hold on to that um, pastel dust. And then uh, blended it with a lighter color here on this side to give a sense of light here with this image representing the moon. And then I used an eraser to erase out stars. So that was one of the first drawings I used with that technique. And then, um, I uh, used the same technique for this drawing. The paper had a ground of graphite dust over it, which made it gray. And then I printed the crickets and the cicadas and then dusted over that with pastel dust. And then while the uh, stamps were still wet, the ink from the stamps were still wet. And then I drew, once it was dry, I drew over with graphite pencil, this little tree frog here, as you can see. And one of the things that I noticed that I really enjoyed is that you can see the stamps through the drawing. So while this is the little tree frog here and the leaf that he's sitting in are prominent, there's enough contrast between that image and the background image. You can still see some of the cicadas and the crickets peeking through the drawing, which I really enjoy. Let's see. This is another example of what I call a white on white. So gray graphite dusted over the entire page. And then in this case, the cicadas and crickets are randomly printed. And then a drawing of, in graphite over that. And again, you can see wings of a cicada here sort of peeking through the bark of that tree. So when it came time to do these drawings, I um, wanted them to be dark. And I couldn't use graphite on a dark background because it wouldn't show up. So I have, in this case, used an oil-based uh, charcoal pencil. 
can be that nice, crisp, really dark black line. And um, I hope that what I've created here represents that sense of that time of day between um, at, at time of day when we begin to hear all those sounds of night at dusk. And also, I hope that they celebrate these creatures that I so love during that time of night to hear, hear them. So thank you for your attention and your time. And I hope that you visit Frank Gallery often and enjoy all the many talented local artists who show there. Thank you.